Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great today. This design is going to be a very cool one because it's an animal that is still, you know, like people ask for kids, the dolphin. So it's, what is a dolphin? It's a, what is, mammal, right? A mammal. <laughs> but uh, the thing about this is like, looks like a fish. So it's a fish. <laughs> Why are I asking this? Uh, it doesn't matter, but look. I went to those pictures and this is the thing and I love that picture with the simple eye because when you make this design then you may consider it just something fast and easy with sharpie those type of eyes that are cool for any animal really even for babies like people humans out of balloons right so <laughs> you can make that way uh, so let's start it it's a design this was my first attempt for this time and it's very similar at many other ones. Now, things I'm thinking I'm gonna change, maybe not that big this part, maybe shorter, so, you know, proportions. But the thing is, and that's what I wanted to see, playing with a round balloon on top can give you the perfect amount of, you know, bigger balloon for what is the head. Because most of the time, that's what it looks more in the pictures that I see on clip art. This time I'm just, doing using three pictures on google from google about the dolphin cute dolphin so if you have time it's cool to make eyes you know big and this is always sharpie unless you want to have stickers the color is a little bit different so it doesn't matter if you make something like this it's going to look like a dolphin another cool thing about this design is the little angle you see you have the little angle for the dolphin and so play with the characteristics. Well, another characteristic is have all this part white and then and the, on top is all the color of the dolphin. That so you can also represent it with gray, I think. Okay, so now let's practice. This is kind of like the cool part that I want to share with you. I was trying first connecting two balloon rounds. Okay, but then this is too big and then the picture doesn't look that part on the bottom that big, you know? So it was, okay, let's go easy with one balloon with link or linking balloon or even round but it would be better if you have the quick uh, links for this uh, it's going to be much practical but in case you don't have it again play with round balloons okay and then use the racing bean technique okay now uh, this is a 160 i was experimenting thinking 160 pack i think if you just want to try with 260 let's do that i'm gonna play now this idea with balloons 260 and round balloon for uh, the light blue. Okay, so let's start it. I have this, and again, things may change, but um, the tone, right, and the color of the design. So this is, I think, uh, Serpentex brand, quick link. Mm, so we have this. Any brand is okay. You're gonna inflate it almost all the way. This size is the seven or, or six inch quick link. The thing is I inflate it all the way and then lose the air. That way your balloon is gonna be soft and squishable and it's not gonna pop. When you tie it, tie it close to the nozzle. Okay, how big is this? The palm of your hand bigger. If you don't have quick links again, you can try with um, rounds and then attach the racing bean for this detail. But the whole process is pretty much the same. Okay, inflate it bigger than the palm of your hand. I have my sizer <laughs> in case you want to have the, the size it will be probably like five inch no five is to 4.5 4.5 inch okay in case just look i have this um and it works that but really when i'm doing balloons and you're in a party you don't really have your measure thing so it's all about your eyes how you see you know the size so maybe you can use your hands okay so you have that then I'm gonna use a white 260. This design, best scenario, will be four balloons, okay? Let's see, eight finger tail, tied it. And this is the thing, this one, you can tie it. Look what I'm doing. I'm leaving here a long tip. It's gonna be helpful. You will see in a moment why. So I tied it with a tip there, and then I inflate it like, what is this, eight finger tail? Now let's blow the second balloon and I'm gonna use weight uh, 260 this time to see what happened. Um, it's a light blue 260, inflated again. What is this? Eight finger tail, tied it. 
Now you have these, uh, we can start working and let's see what happens. This quick link, you're gonna squish the air up. And then you're gonna kind of like measure there like what is gonna be the front part, something like four finger long, okay? That's gonna be the mouth, yeah. And then here you're gonna measure the same size and connect it together, yeah. Maybe even shoulder is gonna be okay. Maybe this one three finger long, okay? And twist it there around, okay? Now from here, in order to this that doesn't get and twist, you're gonna tie it together. These two, tie it together. So tied together as tight as possible there, and then this is gonna go through down all the way down here and pass around there. And that is going to help things to get locked because that's what you want there things to get locked and so the, this part doesn't get untwist okay what else from here you're gonna go and take it all the way to here okay so let's do that squish and kind of fold it together so look you want something like this so I'm making some force, I'm giving some, like this is a little bit shorter, so squeeze shorter until then this bubble is going to pull and stay there, okay, and twist it, twist, 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 and then pass this through. Now, in a moment you're going to go back, so for now just pass that and leave it there, you have this, okay, now. Things are gonna look better in a moment, so you have something like this. Then from here, we're gonna measure this time. I'm gonna make it shorter, so just like no more than five finger long. Twist, 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 and now here even shorter uh, for the the pins, right? So it's gonna be look four finger bubble, or actually even less. Let's try not to make it that big this time. Three finger long, and then a twist, 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 another a little bit longer to make the, sh the shape of a beak, remember? So if this is three, this one's gonna be five. And then twist it together, and twist, 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 twist. Okay, then I'm gonna repeat pretty much what I did. Now, you can make this even better if you make here a pinch twist, or even two pinch twists, to just give it an extra body here to make it longer. But it's not necessary, because I need to also go back. So to make it faster and simple, let's go again. Three finger long and another five finger long. Twist, 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 twist. And you're gonna end up with something like this. Okay, now it's gonna be this the whole body, you see? And I'm thinking maybe, yeah, why not? Let's make a pinch twist. Now, now why I'm thinking that way? Because I think it's gonna be too short, which is also cute. It's not a problem. It's Anything is really a big deal. So I'm gonna just experiment and make maybe a two finger bubble pinch twist And then I'm gonna go back with the five finger long and Twist it all the way there and then here You want to go back with another one like this white soft and squishable, but you'll be giving some pressure So measure what you want there and soft and squishable and then cut and all this also is gonna be even if you want look from there you have it here for example I'm gonna I'm gonna go that way you have it here and all that I'm gonna pull if you want and go back so only because you want that to be um reforced you know you don't want that to get a twist and also it's gonna help to keep it the place you want it to be attached so something like this I'm gonna show you how things are looking so that pulling of the balloon, you know, that force is going to keep things to a state where you want it to be. Now, we have something that is really cool. Big light blue on top for the eyeballs. Here is still with a pattern of all the white upon the base. And this is ending something like this for now. Now, that's what let's use now our third balloon that is going to be the 260 light blue. The same color as the quick link if it's possible. Okay? Again, if you have gray, I think a dolphin, a gray dolphin is great. If you have pink, pink dolphins are, you know, exist in real life. If you go to the jungle, in the Amazon River, we have pink dolphins. So, there we go. We have something like this. Okay, now, 
let's grab your 260 lot loom and uh, measure something like what is this six finger tail and you need to make the fins like what is the part on top and then also the fins and the tail it's pretty much repeating what we did for the back but most important you want here to have three loops if you are in a hurry you can make three loops and this is what I'm, I'm going to show you squish a stretch and then making three loops really much soft and squishable like our six finger loop each okay something like that maybe one even longer than the other one maybe the first one this long that is like six or seven finger loop squish a stretch and then that those ones are going to be like five finger loop okay and then two of five finger loop so this is what i'm doing right now it's kind of saving time you just have to attach this into this connection here you have also the tip of the quick link which is really cool you can do it you can use it but because the bubbles are soft and squishable you can just always accommodate things okay you can just always put it that way too okay now we are here the bigger uh, loop you keep it on the top look we have something like this and then I'm gonna go and measure the same size as this one even a little bit longer if this were five this one can be a little bit longer but not that only just to go and boom, boom, boom. and the thing is you have to now cover but we will not probably have enough that's kind of that's what i say we will need four balloons because you need to also use this to cover the same for the fins you know like two bubbles here two bubbles the other side no let's see it's not gonna be enough that's when i'm thinking okay we're gonna need another balloon so here what i do i measure first remember like four finger long or or three three finger long the same as the first a bubble pinch twist soft and squishable and then pass it through there why i'm doing this because that's a detail that's a cool detail that why not if you follow sometimes the details of the real animal or the cute you know clip are you sees and i help you now the other one is it was a little a little bit longer like probably five finger long so i'm just that. and then here i feel it you know i'm running out of balloon uh, you know it's getting too tight so that i'm gonna cut it but then i'm thinking well maybe i can make a pinch twist like this white i can make a pinch twist so lose the air and just leave a two finger bubble in order to make a pinch twist and that pinch twist is going to represent also part of the side that you want it to be white so let me go and move the white pinch twist on the bottom and the blue on the other side so now I'm going to show you how things are looking because um something like this now look the fins you want this shape actually the other side so i'm gonna just twist them because this is what i noticed you want this part to be as an angle this way so it's all about moving the bubbles okay twist them so you have something like this this is the front so look these bubbles are longer this one is shorter and here is the pinch twist now we need to cover the same idea in this way a longer one pinch twist and a short one and then go back and cover this part yep let's do it so that's where the last balloon light blue 260 is gonna go so you don't need it all the balloon so there's gonna be a lot of space balloon scrap which is cool now here you're gonna start even if you want to the center so pass this around in the center and then put connect it there pass it like remember like five finger long a, a, a little slightly bigger than the ones on the bottom the white and then just cover the ones here one longer like it's five or six finger long twist 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 one bubble soft and squishable pinch twist and attach it into this side okay this and you just attach it i'm trying to um show you really with practice this is gonna be much faster and again remember you can avoid details yeah, i'm just giving you the ideas that occur to me in this moment and then you can avoid it you can say well it's a silly that was cool but i'm gonna make it much easier or much faster that's totally fine so now you have this all this is a leftover 
that you can use it to add more details to the design, but it's a leftover. Even you can, it will be rare, but you can give it to the kids so the kids can hold it as I want. If you want. I'm just gonna cut it, okay? I'm gonna save it, and then I'm gonna pass this around, and if you want, in order to make sure it doesn't get in trees, you can tie it, but I'm just gonna pass it around, because that's another cool way to lock things. Okay, so, there we go, we have something like this, and this loops, now is the time, oh, I still have time, you're gonna grab, and one third of this loop, you're just gonna pinch and twist, and that's gonna recreate the shape that you wanted for your fin, or the, then I'm gonna open these bubbles in the middle, and a little bit of squishing in there, the same you can repeat with these other loops to the side, one third, approximately, or from the half a little bit more and then just make this shape let's repeat the other side pinch twist slide it doesn't have to be all the way or too many loops just like that and that is perfect and ladies and gentlemen the design it's ready now you can accommodate things the way you want it and give it to the kid and there was a lot of the head oh so cute yep and this is the good thing it have all this white which is cute and then also have all this light blue which is cute and now it's short time and already you think this took me forever it just it took you forever well there is this way i'm going to show you i show you before how to do this and you know what all the, I'm gonna show you both. One side is gonna have those big guys, and the other side is gonna be just that simple line. So you will see time. It's all about timing. Sometimes when you're doing this, because this can be perfect for line twisting. So here I make. I want the eyes here. You look at your hand to the face. I want it here. So that's when you make one of these. And the thing is, you can make it different ways. This and that's it, and that's perfect. Or you can always from there make something like that. And then even make eyelashes, make a little eyebrow, and you have something like that. Then you can use another color just to make one extra line for where you want the color of eye to be. That's gonna be dark blue. And then white is gonna cover all the rest. And that is a cool way to make eyes. Now, in order to make it even cooler, with your white sharpie, you're gonna make a circle in between the blue and the black. And even you can make two little circles to make it even cuter. Right there. And there it goes. Took your time. And what it could be the other fast version is when you have it just a line. Like the picture. So you see this one, and the other one's gonna have just a line like this. Look. Even here you can up, 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 and even a little line there for a little eyebrow if you want. So one side like this, which is okay, and the other one like, which is cool too. So you decide, all depends sometimes how much time, how in the mood you feel, even this, you can even add it then when you add that, you can make the eye open, you just close it and fix it, but you know, I don't wanna, you know, make more i'm just gonna keep it like this and there you go this is the design of the day i hope you like it um a lot of things you know repeats and you've probably seen this but i'm just kind of also like to show you how ideas came when you're looking into a clip art and this is quite a course and i like it so connections to make it into a bracelet you can always grab a clear balloon and it can be you know something there in between and then it can be a bracelet so it's like jumping we you can always add a clear balloon to 60 and then kids can hold it and move it like it's jumping we or swimming <laughs> so that's the idea uh tell me in the comments what do you think and if you make it please tag me on my social media as at alpaca global don't forget like comment subscribe and please if you could collaborate with this channel everything is very well appreciated I have below on the description for my videos my address so you can send balloons you can send things to decorate the backstage uh, you can also um, donate money to my Venmo or PayPal account and also below in the description of all my videos you will find there my Amazon wish list which I think is a really cool way 
to collaborate with this channel because the things I put on that list, that is my Amazon wish list, are things that one thing can give you ideas for you, but whatever you buy there, it's gonna come straight to my house. And most of the time it's the things that I find on Amazon that I think, oh, I need it. Yes, because I noticed, and this has been happening after pandemic, that a lot of times uh, when I have to do balloon decor, for example, an arch and something, I just, it's cheaper to get those balloons that it doesn't have the wow main brands as Qualitex or Serpentex or Gemar, but it's kind of like came right away, you know, because I have Amazon Prime. And then also it's um, just a whole kit. Then I don't have to worry, oh, I have balloons and leftovers. Most of the time it's all there. And most of the time, this is the thing, even if I buy double, you know, double, because for example, when I buy number balloons, always letter balloons, minor balloons, I order double of what I think I'm gonna use because it may pop and then last minute I have to run find, you know, the letter that matches, you know. So actually in anything, I, I like to buy double. And you can help, you know, by buying some from my Amazon wish list and help me with what the things that I'm already getting for events that I'm coming. And I'm just like, wow, I'm, I'm happy because summer is coming and that's when, you know, I think I have more events, so it makes me happy. Uh, this can be also perfect for summer, you know, if you are doing a party, dolphins, you know, are very, very cute animals for kids to pick. So I hope you like it. Tell me in the comments what you think and don't forget, like, comment, subscribe and everything, blah, 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 repeating, repeating. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Uh, well, sometimes I want to talk more, but then it's like, wait a second, why? Just keep it for the next video, uh, maybe something just about chatting, okay? Bye-bye.